Psalms 18. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my butler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Psalms 18 is a psalm of David. He sung the words of this psalm on the day the Lord delivered him from his enemies and Saul being the chief among them. The metaphor of this verse can be applied to believers' perpetual struggles against the physical and spiritual forces of this age. David used six different symbols to represent God and what he can be for us. It's just that we got to know our God because when we know God, the Bible said we can do great exploit. And the symbols that David used are one, my rock. My rock represents safety and security in God's immovable strength. He is also our fortress, a place of refuge and safety where the enemy cannot penetrate. He is also our deliverer. He is a living protector. He is my butler. A butler is a type of shield symbolizing that God comes between us and anyone trying to do us any harm. As a matter of fact, the devil does not have the authority to harm Christian. He has to ask permission from God. And God permits what his grace is already covered. 5. The horn of my salvation. The horn of my salvation represents strength and victorious power to deliver and to save us. Remember, he had already one on the cross praise the name of the lord and so every battle that we now enters we enters into the battle from a place of victory number six is my high tower my high tower represents a high place among the rock safe from plunder and destruction to put it very simply in god we are protected ain't no foe that can stand against us when god stands for us now, I want you to understand who you are in God. You may be weak within yourself, but when you're weak, God's strength is made perfect. No harm will come to you as long as you're dwelling, you're living under the shadow of the Almighty God. In a secret place, there is protection and there is peace. And I know with the times that we're living in and the things that are happening, you may be become anxious at times, but the Bible said, be anxious for nothing. Trust God. Because in spite of what happened, God will protect you, his servant. Continue to trust the Lord and to serve him and walk in obedience to his will. Thank you very much for listening. We need your help. We want you to share the video to so bless others and help us grow.